Okay, so I'd like to call the Corporate Services Committee meeting to order, and at this time ask anybody to de declare a pecuniary interest. Hearing none, action items, financial requests. So uh, Council received a uh, presentation from the representatives from the Board of Directors of the Saugeen Valley Children's Safety Village and uh, heard their, their plans for this village and uh, it, the program. They asked uh, at the end of their presentation that Council give consideration to funding 50% of a staff position in the amount of $33,000 to provide on-site uh, instruction to visitors to the village. I've provided that background and uh, seeking uh, direction for the 2017 budget deliberations. Discussions? Robert. Gray County, are they contributing to this also, Gray County? Uh, we had, I had reached out to them initially and were advised that uh, several years ago, Gray County actually had committed to and gave a $5,000 donation as a street sign, uh, contrib a contribution to a street sign. And uh, since they've been here at uh, Bruce County, they have also made uh, requests to attend Gray County. And uh, I haven't confirmed, but um, in speaking with my colleague there, we was expecting that that request was likely for the 50%, the other 50% of this position, but have not confirmed that. Also, um, I guess the school boards don't pick up any tab on this at all, do they? Like this is actually education. This follows under education, but the school boards, they don't pay nothing towards this either, from my understanding, is that correct? Do you know? Uh, I, d I don't know. I don't recall in their presentation that they mentioned the school board, other than the school board will support it through their curriculum, I believe. Paul? I, th I think it's a, an excellent, uh, you know, program. There's no question about that. But uh, the request, uh, I think the request is quite extravagant, in my opinion. And I think if, there, if today's uh, recommendation is that we look at it at, uh, through the budget process, uh, in, in the last few years there's been other things in the budget that's been had to be reduced or set aside. Uh, I can support uh, some modest contribution, but um, I, don't, I don't think uh, $33,000 is reasonable. I think it's too much to consider. Ann? I, th I think it's a great program too. Um, I kind of agree with Robert. What is the count uh, the uh, Blue Water Board contributing? Um, it's great, you know, to have the educational programs. The safety aspect does cover every part of of your life, really, and it is good training. So it's sort of it's like anything else. It's all interrelated. We are uh, there's an agricultural component. Agricultural the farm safety is is very important. You know, over the years there have been horrendous farm accidents, and and some of them are from uh, children that d haven't grown up. You know, they're in our towns or whatever, and they go out to work in a farm. Or so it is valuable education that that way. Plus the driving and general safety, fire, whatever. Uh, but I too, the ongoing commitment uh, every year, um, maybe we can contribute partially, but I think there should be more partners in it um, than the 50%. Um, you know, the Blue Water Board, if they want to partner in some other um, uh, organizations. Uh, I would like to support it, but I feel 50% ongoing uh, is, is just a little steep unless there's more partners in it. Thank you. Anyone else? My suggestion would be just to make this a budget item and uh, probably I'm hearing the appetite for $33,000 is not there. So I think that's maybe part of the discu discussion we can have at budget time is what are we willing to commit on an ongoing basis? Am I hearing that right? So, do you, yeah. Anne? Yeah, I'd support that we leave it to budget for right now. Okay. 
Thank you. We will include the amount in the budget and highlight it as an item for discussion. And I will also follow up with the executive as to the role of the Board of Education. Next action item. Uh, this report has been uh, prepared by our uh, deputy clerk who uh, has a significant role with accessibility upgrades. There are two points to this. Uh, the first one is the uh, braille and tactile accessibility signs. Uh, over the summer, I did have the opportunity to uh, enjoy Bruce County, but also got out of the county and uh, was curious as to how some of our larger centers uh, uh, at the uh, particular at intersections and the uh, tactile plates at the um, at the crosswalks was um, uh, something uh, new and uh, interesting and probably coming to Bruce County as well. But for for looking at uh, upgrading the signage uh, in our public areas of this building and uh, also during our discussions with our, our renovations we've always uh, looked for a solution uh, to the uh, the grading uh, and the entrance to the council chambers and uh, one of the uh, items that we've looked at that we think will will uh, serve two purposes is uh, welcoming uh, our new brand into the council chambers um, and uh, also uh, outlining that the carpet that there is a an incline there as well and uh, the recommendation is uh, for both of those items and uh, the expenditures uh, be funded from the reserve the signage approximately eight hundred dollars and the carpet inlay approximately fifty four hundred dollars and we do have funds set aside in reserves for those purposes uh, we had considered uh, Donna and I w when we discussed that it could be a 2017 project but because we had the funds already set aside in reserves um, that it was important that we advance both of those projects into 2016 and have them completed. Thank you, Betty Ann. There is a staff recommendation. Do I have a mover and seconder? And Milt, any discussions? All those favor? Opposed, thank you. Information items. There are three information items. Uh, the first is uh, self-explanatory, the Grey Bruce Health Unit, uh, the uh, surplus that we have been advised of in that communication. The second is Bill 181, a uh, report uh, that uh, our deputy clerk has prepared for you, just uh, outlining some of the items that you will find in Bill 181 and of particular interest, of course, is the, the municipal election date of October 22nd, 2018. Uh, the, the nomination uh, date uh, has been changed uh, to May 1st from the uh, traditional January 1st. Uh, the other item I wanted to highlight was the ability for the ranked uh, ballot voting and that that will be set out in regulation. Uh, that has uh, not been issued as of yet, but um, those regulations should be forthcoming. And uh, the nomination and eligibility. Uh, some of us will recall when you had to have a uh, hundred sign if you wanted to submit your nomination, and that had been eliminated. And now it has been uh, new requirement uh, submitting signatures of 25 voters supporting the nomination. Uh, that uh, does not apply to candidates running for the school board uh, positions. So, for your information. And uh, as we prepare for the next municipal election in 2018. Some of us might not have 25 votes by the time this is all over. <laughs> Comments, um, questions for Betty Ann? The final information piece is uh, just announcing a funding of uh, $8,258. <clears throat> to offset the uh, transitional uh, funding related to the um, uh, the long t the um, Golden Dawn Senior Citizens Home and the move of the uh, the taxation municipal property tax the exemption and the transition allow for that so those funds received in 2016 will be applied to the levy levy revenue. Questions comments? Motion to adjourn. Mike, Robert, all those in favor? Polls if any, that's carried, thank you.